This is an overview of an article entitled Identification of Common and Rare Genetic Variation Associated with Plasma Protein Levels Using Whole Exome Sequencing and Mass Spectrometry, published in the December 2018 issue of Circulation, Genomic, and Precision Medicine. Blood plasma is a source for many potential biomarkers which might provide novel drug targets if they are causally related to disease. Genetic variation that affects proteins can be used to assess the causal relationship between a particular biomarker and disease. Additionally, the molecular function of the variant can provide insight into processes important to the protein's abundance. Delineating whether these genetic variants might act by modulating RNA or protein metabolism could provide insights into alterable processes involved in the regulation of protein levels thus elucidating insights into targeted therapeutics. Recent advances in protein and genotype measurement have enabled the interrogation of genetic variants that affect protein levels, protein quantitative trait loci, or PQTLs. While this advance has resulted in the identification of hundreds of plasma PQTLs in human samples and is leading to insights into the proteomic consequences of risk for cardiovascular disease, it's currently unclear how often high-throughput protein assays are affected by technical artifacts, resulting from genetic variants such as missense variants. Mass spectrometry can measure multiple peptides per protein. DNA sequence information can then be used to identify specific peptides with missense variants that would result in artifactual associations due to inaccurate peptide quantification. Therefore, by integrating mass spectrometry peptide and protein level estimation with exome sequencing, it could be possible to identify true PQTLs and exclude those associated with artifactual associations, thereby improving the identification of variants associated with protein levels. In the paper under discussion, the authors integrated the blood plasma protein levels of 664 proteins from 165 participants of the TRAMSA study, measured via TMT mass spectrometry, with whole exome sequencing data to identify common and rare genetic variation associated with peptide and protein levels, that is, PQTLs. They additionally used literature and database searches to prioritize putative functional variants for each PQTL. The work undertaken by the authors generated information on 664 proteins and 3,148,863 variants for genetic association analyses. Some of the various metrics and analytic results are shown here. In total, the authors identified 109 independent PQTLs, of which 60 were associated with 96 unique peptides and 30 proteins across the genome, while 49 were technical artifacts due to missense coding variants associated with specific peptide levels rather than the whole protein. Please refer to the online version of the paper for more details. To identify downstream targets and pathways associated with PQTLs and to gain insight into the functional mechanisms of the identified PQTLs, the authors tested for association in trans. With their analyses, they identified nine associations between rare variation and peptide levels. One of the associations was a rare peptide-only trans-QTL between variation in FCM3 and levels of a peptide in the complement component C8 beta chain. FCM3 is an activator of the lectin complement pathway, and its pathway includes C8 in its final stages, as shown here in the top panel. The authors examined the other rare trans PQTLs, identifying five loci associated with levels of serpin A1, also called alpha-1 antitrypsin, CD109, CFL1, CLU, HYOU1, and RARRES2, as shown here in the bottom panel. Of the five genes, four encode proteins involved in platelet degranulation. The authors used a combination of database and literature searches to identify candidate variants at each of 48 common PQTL loci found in the study, as schematized in the top panel shown here. In total, they identified 18 known, 5 likely, 
five suggestive, and 20 unknown putative functional variants. As shown in the other panels, the putative functional variants with suggestive or better evidence were deemed to affect either the RNA transcript or the protein product in a variety of ways. Variants directly associated with protein levels were more often missense variants, whereas variants affecting RNA levels were primarily located in non-coding regions. Since variants associated with RNA metabolism would also be expected to be associated with gene expression, that is, expression quantitative trait loci, or EQTLs, the variants were assessed in the Genotype Tissue Expression, or GTEx, project. Variants deemed to affect RNA metabolism were more likely than protein-affecting variants to be EQTLs. In conclusion, the authors identified 109 independent associations and used genotype data to exclude 49 as technical artifacts. They described two particular cases of rare variation, one associated with the complement pathway and one with platelet degranulation. They identified putative functional variants and showed that PQTLs act through diverse molecular mechanisms that affect both RNA and protein metabolism. The work demonstrates the extent to which PQTL studies are affected by technical artifacts, and it highlights how prioritizing the functional variants in PQTL studies can lead to insights into the molecular steps by which proteins might be regulated. Thank you.